Hi everyone. I am super excited to be live with you guys today. Um, we are going to do this cute transfer. It's called Bessie in the House. And we're actually going to use our box frame. It's our house box frame. So I'm actually, I've already waxed this. I actually waxed it last night. Um, so we're going to put this transfer on this box frame. Super cool. It's just a fun sign to make. This is part of our new launch. There's tons of new product out there, guys. So I'm gonna really quickly send this over to my VIP group. I'm gonna make sure that I also have sound. Let me make sure. I think I have sound. I think I have sound. Yes, I do, okay. Um, if you are new, welcome. If you have not watched any of my lives before, I always send it over to my VIP group. If you are not a chocolate door designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment VIP below. All right, today is the 13th, 2023. If you are catching this on a replay, Go ahead and put hashtag replay. If you're catching this live, you'll see the live rectangle right above my finger. Um, all right. Okay, so we are gonna get started. So this transfer um, is a cut apart. So each piece can be used eight to 12 times, sometimes more, eight to 12 is what chalk recommends and will cover. All of your care instructions are right here on the back. If you've never chalked before, it is as easy as it looks. Don't feel intimidated by any of our transfers. They are all amazing. And if you can butter bread, you can do this. So, I was actually talking to a couple of different designers and our new backer sheets are glossy on both sides. So that is another reason to write on the back of your transfer on the backer sheet. Because if you don't, and you put it on the wrong side, you're gonna ruin your transfer. And I don't want that to happen to anyone. Not a single person. So, we are gonna write on the back of each one of these. I always write on the back anyway, just so I know what transfer goes to what backer sheet, how many times I've used it, And that is why I do top and a dash mark. So I know that's the top of the actual transfer. Since the arrow was pointing down, we're gonna do the arrow down like that. So I know that's how it goes back on there. If you don't wanna write on the back of the backer sheet, you don't have to. I would recommend you put a sticker or something on the back so you know that that is the back of the transfer um, backer sheet so you don't stick this on the wrong side. Just an FYI. So let's move you guys down. Let me grab a squeegee. This is one of my newer ones. It doesn't have as much bend to it. But we have, we're going to do toilet first. We're all going to do this in just black velvet. I will have a cart link on all of the goodies that I've used here today and how to get them. Cart links are super easy because it gives you all of the products um, in the for this project. But if you see something in there that you don't want or you already have, you can always take away from that. If you see some other stuff that you want to add in, you can also do that. Cart links make it super easy for you to be able to grab what we used for this project. Like I said, make it unique to you. If your bathroom maybe is done in blue and you want this in blue instead of black, then I would suggest you change up the color. All right, we are gonna go just like this, pushing down. And then we're gonna grab the black velvet. I did stir the paste that you can see in the black velvet jar that it's starting to get low, but it still has a lot in here, guys. So just off that silk screen, pulling that paste through. 
and just keep pulling it through. You don't need a lot of paste to do these projects at all. And you can see I haven't redone, I haven't pulled um, any more out of the jar. It's the same way with the paste singles. Just put a little tiny bit on your squeegee. Pulling all the extra off because I'm going to, I don't want these lines. So I'm going to pull all this extra. When you start getting lines, you know you have too much paste on there. So just kind of go over it a couple times, pulling all that extra off. Oh my goodness, so cute. And we're gonna dry this because we are gonna go up above and do um, best seat in the house, but I wanted to put dry this first so if I bump it I don't mess it up. Now you could do just this piece on a separate surface and then do best seat in the house on another surface. You absolutely can do that. Change it up, make it cute, make it to your own personality and personal preference. That's one of the beautiful things about chalk. So we can fuzz this. Best seat in the house. Super cute. I love a lot of these signs because they're just some of them that are a little bit on the snarky side. Some of them are just cute. Um, I have a half bath downstairs, and this sign's actually going to be put up in there, um, or just on the outside of the door would be really cute as well. I have one of those barn doors on my half bath, so super cute. All right, we're gonna actually put, I'm gonna move this off to the side. I'm trying to think here, guys. Let's see. Cause it is, if you see on the transfer, it's to one side. So putting it on one side and then putting the arrow wouldn't look so bad. Because it is kind of off to the side. And then we can put the arrow right here. Grabbing the squeegee again and grabbing some paste. Now, if you didn't want to put the arrow in, I would put this right directly above or put it on another sign, however you want to do it. Keep your packaging in your backer sheets. Like I said, they are reusable, so you definitely want to do that. Another cute way to use a sign um, would be to actually put this maybe like in your hallway or, you know, so people know where the bathroom's at. I actually have people ask me that often, like, where's your half bath or where's the bathroom? So this would be really cute. Oh my goodness, I got way too much paste. Way too much paste to put on there. So. All right. Closing up my paste jar because I don't want that to dry out. Grabbing this transfer. Lift 
this up so you guys can see. Um, just so you all know, how cute, how cute is that, right? And our box frames, you can actually do something on the back if you want to, or you can put like a sawtooth hook and hang it up. Super cute. Um, also, just so you all know, I am going to start doing random times for lives starting on the 18th of July. Unless it is a posted pre-recorded video, it will that will post it too. Um, on the weekends, I don't go live, but I will be posting videos now on the weekends at 2. So if you have any questions and or comments, you can leave them in the comments below or anything like that with any of those um, videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. If you are not a chocolate drawer desire, please click the S-H-A-R-E button. Spread the love for me, and I will see you all on July 18th. Talk to you all later. Bye.